What's up guys, it's Preston here, and welcome back to the best class setup videos in Black Ops 2. Today, or this episode anyways, we're going to be looking at the uh, the Ballista Sniper. And just wait for it, one sec, let me toss this bouncing Betty, look over these boxes, and boom! Headshot collateral with the Ballista, that was awesome. But anyways, I have like a really love-hate relationship with the Sniper because it gets so many hit markers and frustrates me to like no end. And look at these quick scopes over here, kabam! Get out of here, son. But anyway, like, seriously, I know people say aim for the chest and you'll get a one-shot, but it doesn't work that way. You know, most of the time, even when I shoot them in the chest, I still get a hit marker on them. It is the most frustrating thing in the world as a sniper, so I usually tend to go with the DSR-50. But I just like the feel of the Ballista more, but the DSR-50 usually gets me one-shots, because obviously, I guess it does more damage or whatnot, but, uh, you know, anyways. Uh, so I'm bringing you guys some standoff Team Deathmatch gameplay for this episode. You know, I've been doing a lot of domination in the previous ones, and, you know, it gets a little bit stale and stuff like that. So, I thought I'd mix it up with some TDM. But anyways, let's go ahead and go into the class and talk about it a little bit. So you should see a picture on your screen right about now. And uh, this is what I like to use uh, on my Ballista setup. It's just a Ballista Sniper with a CPU attached. Attachment. CPU obviously so you have a little bit less sway. I mean that helps out you don't have to use it But I do recommend it the TAC 45 is like the best pistol in the freaking game Okay, it is the best secondary hands down. It's like a two or three shot pistol I absolutely love the way it feels it just feels so freaking awesome uh, But then my two my, my first two uh, perks are gonna be flak jacket and lightweight because I like to play an aggressive sniper I usually like to go you know run up inside of buildings clear it out with my pistol or even like you know try to get off some you know good sniping shots at close range uh, and then use that spot as like a vantage point like in this house for example I came up here I cleared out like the entire enemy team and now I've been sitting here for a little bit looking for picks and, you know, that's when you're looking for a couple guys to kill, and then I jump around and stuff like that. So, Flak Jacket's really helpful, and so is Lightweight to get out of those, you know, those situations where you just really need to get away fast. Um, and then second perk... Now, a lot of people probably aren't going to like this one, but it's Scavenger. I know, always Scavenger, Scumbag Preston, but it really does help because um, pistols, they run out of ammo really fast. You know, your sniper, you're not really going to run out of ammo. You know, I mean, you've got like 20 plus shots with it, so unless you just miss a lot of bullets, um, then maybe you do want to go with Scavenger. But I like it just for my pistol ammo, um, concussion grenades, you know, bouncing beddies, stuff like that, because I like to use bouncing beddies aggressively. A lot of people see them as like a camper's weapon, but they can be used as like a, uh, a teammate that just you know can't move or shoot but he can watch your back sort of kind of you know if they juke the bouncing betty or if they crouch or prone underneath it then it's a worthless teammate but if it ends up damaging them or killing them or it says your you know your equipment has been destroyed then you know somebody's sneaking up on you and it's time to whip out the pistol or turn around with your sniper and zoom in so that's really helpful i love bouncing betties for that reason um and then so for those of my you know, my, that was my second perk. So third perk is just going to be Tactical Mask. And this is the same reason as I like to go inside of houses and clear out campers and stuff like that. Even when I'm sniping, I just play a really aggressive sniper sometimes. And you can see right there, that was a just super aggressive peek right there. I, oh, I should have been dead. But luckily that guy, I think, was like not very good with a sniper. So third perk, just Tactical Mask, really. Um, you could go with Dexterity and Tactical Mask and get rid of uh, Scavenger if you want to. That would definitely be a really good way to go. Uh, but then yeah, I think you'd have to sacrifice a concussion grenade as well. So, you know, it's really just personal preference. But Tactical Mask is just great on snipers because nobody likes to be a scope and, like, you get hit by a concussion grenade and you literally can't do anything. Like, it's bad enough if you have an SMG or an assault rifle. At least you can kind of spray and pray a little bit. But with a scope, you're just sitting there, like, struggling. Like, what do I do, man? I, I literally can't even move. So it really sucks. Um, and then so for obviously my equipment is a bouncing Betty. I love it. You can use it aggressive. You can go on the enemy spawn and you can lay down a Betty, get a kill or two, use it as like protection. Oh, and right there. That was such a stupid death. I played that so bad. Uh, and then, you know, concussion grenade. Concussion grenades are great for clear, you know, clearing out rooms. Or if you know some people are going to be rushing you, you can toss uh, the stun grenade at your feet. And then obviously since you have tack mask, it's not going to affect you near as much as the enemy if they don't have tack mask. So that's like a really good escape mechanism that, uh, you know, I, s I really enjoy using. And then I've kind of played around with the iron sights on this gun, but not too much. Um, you know, they're not bad. Um, if you want to do that, go ahead and do that and exchange that for the ballistic CPU. But I kind of like to use my scope like a scope, and it needs a scope for that, so I can't use the iron sight. But anyways, guys, um, I think that's enough for this episode. It's coming to an end. I should be getting more of these class edit videos out on a regular basis now. My, uh, my thumbnail designer was out of town, so it was kind of like... Oh, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to put all this effort into a video and not have a thumbnail because it sucks. But um, uh, thanks, guys, so much for watching. If you guys could, you know, like the video and comment, I really appreciate it. 
and it helps me out a bunch. Um, uh, yeah, so make sure to check out these other class setup videos. With the MSMC class setup, I went 93-0 and and destroyed people. And then with the M8A1, I went 76-2, and got like three swarms. It was awesome. Just click on the screen and it'll bring you right to those videos. And subscribe if you guys haven't. Thanks guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful and safe day. And I'll see you guys in other videos and streams. Goodbye.